Hi, uh, I'm going to show you a personal project I did during the summer out of my interest. It is written in C++ using the robotic operating system and also the OpenCV library. It is a computer vision application called surveillance camera. So what I did was to use the internal camera embedding in my laptop to detect the exterior environment. What it can do is, in case you are not at home and you want to monitor the environment condition in your house, in case anyone strange is breaking into your house, you can use its application. The camera would keep uh, looking at the frame it is looking at and check if the differences between the previous frame of image and this the current frame of image is larger than a threshold. If it is larger than the threshold, it would report the difference in the pixels of, in the image and try to record the face that it recognizes in the, in the frame. The reason I'm setting up a threshold is because I have to consider some environment noises such as like something is swinging that would make a difference in the pixels that's why I'm setting up this threshold the threshold I'm setting up right now is a thousand but I can change it anytime depending on how accurate you want this to be okay it's better to demonstrate it to you so I'm going to run this ROS node the ROS node I'm trying to launch is called surveillance camera node so I'm going to run it in this terminal. So uh, what you can see here is I'm sitting in front of the desk and it is able to recognize my face. And we can see from the ROS terminal here down in the bottom that there are differences found that actually represents how many pixels are different from the JSON frames. And if the prompt says safe, that means the differences in pixels are smaller than a thousand. That means the environment noise is not large enough for the surveillance camera application to make a decision that there is someone strange. Because this is assumed in the condition that no one is at home, so I'm going to walk out of this camera frame and go back in. As I walk out of this camera frame, uh, the ROS terminal, as we can see, the IDE always prompts safe. That means uh, uh, the current condition is safe. And as I walk back in to the image, as I walk back in, the surveillance camera would say, oh, there's different. That means something, someone strange has broke into your house and it's, it's trying to recognize my, my face and record it. So uh, the face here, the face recognition, I'm using the face recognition classifier that's already in, that's already been trained before so it's able to detect face pretty well I'm trying to do a face recognition classifier especially only for my face but it turns out that the, the hard cascade classifier is not robust enough to recognize my face so this is still in a development phase the classifier yes Okay, I'm going to turn off this node. And let me quick, quickly go through the code. So uh, what I did here is trying to, uh, first, I will open up the frame and try to capture two image frames. So it's called image frame one and image frame two. Uh, there are blocks of code that I had here. This is used to capture an absolute difference between the two adjacent frames. I always check if the difference in two adjacent frames, the differences in pixels are larger than a thousand. If it is a, a larger than a thousand, I would say a difference found. And I would print the screen how many differences of pixels that exist in the in the two adjacent frames. Yes. And later there are blocks of code that has been there to draw the contours of the convex holes, which I did not show in the video. Uh, these are not very re relevant for this personal face uh, surveillance camera application, and that's why I didn't write it. I didn't show it in the video.
yes uh, and we will come up here and this is a face facial recognition um, I'm using so I have a face cascade and the eye cascade classifier I didn't use the eye and cascade uh, but I can definitely use it if I want so uh, I have a surveillance camera Hearth cascade frontal face classifier so I'm using this classifier to recognize my face and it would draw on the face a center to prompt that oh yeah there is a difference in the frame and this is a guy that looks strange so uh, yeah this is the main block of code that's just initializing this ROS node and this camera object so uh, this is basically what this piece of code does and thank you for your consideration.